hello welcome again today i'm going to show you how to set up purchase tag with parameters for google ads conversion with google tag manager i have made separate videos for all conversions of google ads like page view view item add to cart begin checkout i have given the link in the description you should watch them also first let me introduce myself i'm sultan a professional web analyst providing services on marketplaces like on Upwork I am a top rated talent with 100% job success and on Fiverr I am a level 1 seller. If you need my services you can place an order on these marketplaces or you can contact me on my gmail or whatsapp number like you can see below the video. Now let's start the tutorial. In the beginning I am assuming that you have a website and you have a google ads account and a Google Tag Manager account connected with your website. Now we want to run ads campaign on Google and before that you need to set up Google Ads conversion tags on your website. Now we will see the way to set up the most valuable tag purchase for Google Ads conversion. Basically in this tutorial I will follow two steps. First I will create a Google Ads conversion on Google Ads account. Secondly I will create a tag on Google Tag Manager and then publish that. So first let's create a conversion on Google AdWord. Go to Google Ads account and then go to Goal. Then click on conversions and then click on summary. These are other tags that I have created before. For purchase click on this new conversion action. Now we have to select the kind of conversions we want to track. Obviously I will select from here website. Then we have to enter here the URL for the website where we want to measure our conversions. It's only for checking if the website is already set up to measure conversions. So I will copy the URL of our website and then paste here and then scan. Here you go, scanning is complete. There are two options. We can create the tag using website events or we can create the tags manually. I will choose from here, create them manually. So scroll down and click here, add a conversion action manually. Then select the goal category. I will choose from here, purchase. And then conversion action optimization options. I will choose from here, primary action. And then give the conversion a name. I will name it Google Ads Purchase. Then we have to choose from here the value type. There are three types of value like the same value, the different values and don't use a value that means no value. We know every purchase event has a value. So we should choose from here use different values. And I will keep this default value as it is because we will create a variable for this value parameter on our Google Tag Manager and configure that variable with this purchase tag. So I will keep it up and then we have to select from here how many conversions to count per click or interaction. I will choose from here every and you can see it says it's recommended for purchases because every purchase is valuable. So select here every and then keep all the settings as they are then click on done here you go our conversion is created now click here save and continue now it's giving us instructions to finish the setup and there are three instructions we can set up the tag with google tag or we can send an email to our developer with these instructions or we can use google tag manager obviously i will choose from here use google tag manager now it's giving us conversion id and a conversion label and all I need from here this ID and this label we can say our first step is complete now I will go to the Google Tag Manager and create a tag so let's go to Google Tag Manager and then take a new tag then tag configuration then choose from here Google Ads then Google Ads conversion tracking here we go we have to enter here the conversion ID so either I can go to Google Ads account and copy from here this conversion id and then paste here but for your information this conversion id is required for all google ads conversion tags and this id is the same for all tags so i have created a constant variable with this id so alternatively i can insert that variable here 
So I will click on this plus icon and choose from here Google Ads conversion ID. Now I can delete this plain text and then conversion label. Here we can't use a constant variable for this label because this label is different for each tax. So we have to go to Google Ads account and copy from here this conversion label and paste here. Then conversion value and then transaction ID and then currency code. For these parameters, we have to create variables. And to create variable, I have to go to preview. So I will duplicate this tab and then go to preview. Then enter here website URL and click on connect. Here you go, tag assistant connected. Now let's make a purchase. Then add to cart, then check out. After filling the form up, I will click here to place the order. Here you go. My order is confirmed and we are on thank you page now. Now I will go to tag assistant tab and click on continue. On the left menu, we will look for an event purchase. Here you go. This is the purchase. I will click here and then click on this down arrow to see the data layer. Here you go. The event name is purchase and this is the data layer. I will create the variables like transaction ID, value, currency using this data layer. So I will copy from here e-commerce and then transaction ID and then value and then currency. Now I will go to the first tab of Google Tag Manager and from conversion value I will click on this plus icon to create a variable. Then again this plus icon and then variable configuration and choose from here data layer then data layer variable name will be paste here e-commerce and then dot then value then entitle the variable i will entitle it purchase value and then save then transaction id so again click on this plus icon and then again click on plus icon then variable configuration Choose from here data layer variable and the variable name will be paste here e-commerce then dot then transaction id. I will entitle the variable transaction id then save. Then currency code. Likewise I will click again on this plus icon again plus icon then variable configuration choose from here data layer variable and the variable name will be paste here e-commerce then dot then currency i will entitle the variable currency and then save since i have already created a variable using this name and this data layer so it's showing like that so i'm going to use that variable here you go currency now simply go to triggering then click on this triggering big button here I have already created a trigger for purchase event nevertheless I want to show you how to create that so here also click on this plus icon and then trigger configuration and choose from here custom event then go to the tag assistant tab and copy from here this event name purchase then go to Google Tag Manager first tab and paste here purchase then entitle the trigger I will entitle it purchase then save then entitle the tag I will entitle it Google Ads purchase then save here you go our tag is created like if I go to tag section and scroll down we can see this is the Google Ads purchase tag that we have created now I will go to Google Ads account and then click here done here you go this is our purchase tag and its status is inactive because it hasn't get any data from ads campaign when we will run ads campaign on this google ads account and this tag will start collecting purchase event data then its status will be changed from inactive to active now is the time to check if the tag is working properly so i will close the previous preview mode and then go to preview again from google tag manager enter here website url and click on connect here you go tag assistant connected 
now let's make a purchase again here we go our purchase is confirmed and we are on thank you page now i will go to tag assistant tab and click on continue then we will see here our google ads purchase tag has been fired one time that means it's working properly here now if i go to google ads account and refresh this page then we can see the status of our purchase tag has been changed to no recent conversions if you remember the status was inactive and it has been changed because of getting signal from our preview mode when it will get real signal from ads campaign then its status again will be changed to active and also if i go to tag assistant tab and click on this tag and then show more from properties then we can see this tag is passing with conversion value and its currency code so we can say our tag setup is perfect now in the last we should publish the gtm container otherwise we know the tag will not be working in the real cases i will give the version a name i will name it google ads conversion purchase tag setup and then publish all right that's all for now if you think this tutorial has added some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new to my channel and like to see my upcoming videos then don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that's it today see you in another video until then goodbye thank you so much